Is um, snowboarding easier than skiing? Yeah, it's way easier. It's also way more fun and way cooler too. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, choosing a snowboard isn't always obvious. Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we're going to check out the latest in snowboarding gear. What's new with snowboarding gear? Well, um, with Battalion Snowboards, we have something called triple base technology. It's basically lifted contact points on the nose and the tail. What are the basics someone needs to know to start snowboarding? Oh, uh, how to stop is pretty important. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. And what are snowboards made out of? Wood, Quadrax fiberglass, carbon, P-Tex, and uh, steel edges. We also have Kevlar in some of our higher end boards. And there's so many good snowboards to choose from. Which one would you suggest? Battalion, obviously. We make the best boards. What about like height? What would be okay for me? Are you new to snowboarding? Yeah. Yeah? You probably want something that comes in just under your chin then. Uh, with a softer flex and a directional shape, that's going to make it easier for you to ride. Are bindings universal or do they come with snowboards? Most bindings can be put on any board. So, yeah, you can buy a different set and match it up, colors and stuff. What makes this brand different than any other brand? Well, uh, Kepita is well known for the art on the board. Every board has a little story behind their graphic. Food Court Gangster is a, is a board that uh, reflects uh, all the little thugs that hang out at the mall. We have a this girl jumping on a bed. This board is the Stairmaster Extreme and it's really popular. It used to be a limited edition and now we, we brought it in the line. What board would you suggest for a beginner? Our Stairmasters are really easy to ride so a beginner could start with that board. Can you give us some information about the brands by? We do like goggles, sunglasses, we're involved with motocross. What's the difference between like the lens colors? You can have a darker color like this, like a mirror lens. That's good for when it's sunny. Like a persimmon lens like this kind of an orange lens that you know is better for night riding or when it's cloudy, flat light. What's the difference between wearing goggles opposed to sunglasses when you're snowboarding? Having a good goggle is really gonna help out, you know, having a triple foam layer, uh, having a ventilation scoop system and all that stuff really is gonna help, you know, uh, not crying and having a really good experience riding. More women are taking up snowboarding, so what is the new fashion? I think there's a big market now for women on the hills because you like to rock on the hills, but you like to be sexy at the same time. And as you can see, it's really girly. There's fur, hair, like a huge belt, and all those the, these details like leather. This jacket is 100% recycled fabrics. I think there's a good, a big hype in the industry right now about eco. Oakley has a bunch of limited sunglasses. Can you just give us some insight? Yeah, well basically we started doing uh, something with artists uh, around the world for uh, limited edition pieces of our usual uh, everyday pieces. This is the new one made with uh, London Police, which is a graffiti artist. So these are runs of about maybe 2,000 units worldwide, so it's going to be through a very selected amount of dealers. And if we want to go retro a bit, we kind of reintroduced the frog skin from the 80s in a very limited quantities and it was we were quite surprised with the impact it had and you might have seen it on certain stars as well Kanye West had one uh, Hayden Panettiere and uh, so on 